you remember last year, they dealt with that range. They actually had a delay and had to days, move it. So yes. hopefully you can get us good weather. Like, what's the deal? Uh, it's Come definitely on. going sun. to be much better. That's <laughs> the deal, bud. Last year, we had the remnants of Gordon. That's right. And it just yes, sat I over know. central Indiana. I was Forever. like, oh, my yeah. gosh. Yeah, that was uh, pretty bad. But this year, we're tracking just a slight chance of a spotty shower. But for the most part, it's going to be pretty quiet most of the weekend. But let's just take a quick look at this Brickyard 400 forecast. It is going to be cooler, so really nice day at the track. Mostly cloudy skies and a chance of a spotty shower. I'll have more details about that coming up in just a moment. But keep that in mind, nothing like last year where we had the heavy rain. We are still tracking Dorian, and it is still a Category 1, so it definitely has died down a bit. Moving off to the northeast, now picking up some speed at 15 miles per hour. Those winds clocked at 90 miles per hour. It will continue to ride along the eastern seaboard. And by 8 o'clock this morning, still making its way into North Carolina and into Virginia, then eventually pulling into the mid-Atlantic sometime on Saturday. So we're still watching as that continues to batter the east coast. Here at home, though, quiet conditions. We do have a cold front that's going to drop from northwest to southeast today. Honestly, not a lot of moisture in the atmosphere, so it's going to be pretty tough to squeeze much out today. But we still have a chance of a couple of spotty showers as this frontal boundary moves across the area. So as you can see, we are going to see the clouds increasing through the morning. The winds ahead of this frontal boundary are going to be out of the south, so that's going to allow those temperatures to climb quickly today. We will climb into the low 80s this afternoon, and then the winds will shift behind the cold front later on tonight back out of the north. So this afternoon, winds out of the south southwest, especially late afternoon, sustained between 5 and 15 miles per hour. We'll see a high of 82 degrees, and if we do see some spotty showers, that'll cool us down for a moment. Operation football should be mainly dry, not out of the question that a stray shower could move in. We'll see those mostly cloudy skies, and notice the winds. They will shift out of the northwest. A little breezy this evening, 10 to 15 mile per hour winds. Now, tonight during the overnight, not as cold as the last couple of days, we'll drop to around 60 degrees in Indianapolis, 58 will be the low in Lafayette, and 61 in Shelbyville. Now tomorrow, we're tracking a dry day. In fact, the skies will gradually clear out by afternoon. We'll see those temperatures climbing into the upper 70s with that light breeze out of the north. Again, keeping us pretty comfortable as far as humidity goes. For Sunday, tracking a cooler day, high of 73 in Muncie, 72 degrees will be the high in Kokomo, 78 in Bloomington, 80 for Bedford. Here's a look at your seven-day forecast for this afternoon. We'll see temperatures climbing to 83 degrees this afternoon. Chance of a spotty shower. It will be breezy. We drop down to 60 degrees first thing tomorrow morning. For Saturday, 79 degrees. The Penrod Arts Festival Arts Fair, that is, is going on on Saturday. It's going to be a great day for that. 75 on Sunday. Best chances of rain will be on in north central Indiana, so great conditions for the Brickyard 400 at IMS. 80 on Monday with some scattered shower chances continuing through the morning hours. Then we start to crank up the heat and the humidity, Ben and Anne-Marie. It's going to return. All right. Thanks, Kelly.